Welcome to your part two. How you doing? Good morning to you, Libras. I hope you have a fantastic morning with your family. Also yourself. Make sure to be kind to yourself under the new moon in Gemini. Um, I wanted to tell you I've been struggling with uploads the last few days due to just having a lot of family engagements. There's birthdays in this month for my me and my family. And I wanted to thank you guys so much for being understanding. Um, I did want to say when you read every day for a collective there are days where there's a lot of repetitive readings. And so um, I would like to give you guys fresh readings every day, but sometimes the energy stays the same. Um, and I try to connect as much as possible as I can for you. So today we're going to try to get new energy. We're going to try to, and let's see what comes out. We have the world at the bottom of the deck after shuffle. So you saw the world in the last video. And when we compare and contrast from video one to video two, all it says is something's complete. You finished it out and there's also a success here for you. I feel like it's heartfelt. It's like in the heart space. I think that it's an internal hug too from the universe to say, go on. You have all the tools to protect yourself and you also have guidance from your angels. If you're very, very connected to the 5D2, you'll notice that the world card, you'll feel it on a new moon. It's super energetic. Uh, also, it has properties to rejuvenate you too, especially if you're outside a lot. So make sure you get a lot of sunlight as well. I feel here this completion is heartfelt. It's an emotional space too, but it's not something that you, you know, have difficulty overcoming. It's just here as a heart-spirited card saying you've completed it and that is definitely checked off in some of your boxes. As well too, I want to say if you're in the age range of 30s to 40s, it's been transforming and shifting other areas of your life as well. So that could be very compelling to see where that goes. Wink. We have the Knight of Pentacles. Someone was slow in the recent past. You closed it out with them. We have the Star card, which is Aquarius. And this is a beautiful card about having hope. So each day, especially when I read here on this collective, and we're going to do an all signs next, we're going to do four cards with me. <laughs> and um, we'll see where that takes us, of course. We'll see where that kind of projects our week. The star card is about still feeling faith at whatever age that is. And I feel like we look for guidance too in the certain peaks and inspirations that come to us weekly even, that can be in something that you see. I feel like somebody sees you as the star. So there's definitely recognition here. Faith is restored after a world card has been placed here, which is an ending. And you see that they're looking up at the North Star in this photo. Your North Node can definitely be playing on your astrological chart at this time. There could be a lot of Venus that's going on and people seeing that side of you, which is a romantic and um, someone who's longing and a creative. So there could be some arts being at play here too in the next coming week. You could be touching on talents that you have. Okay, and exercise them proactively because I think it's good for overall soul health and it's good for you to also see the star in you and how helpful you actually are to the collective. Star card energy, Aquarius, and excuse me with a runny nose. We have the King of Cups, which was yesterday's card. I do want to clarify it because I was not here only for a pick a pile. So I want to look at the King of Cups for you real quick. King of Cups. And just give me a second here. We have a beautiful person in the King of Cups that wants to extend a hand out to you. For many of my feminines, I do think that it's a divine masculine or masculine who's growing in their own spiritual health. They want to share that with you. There is a part of them that knows that they can come and seek your advice. And the divine feminine, she's very daring at this time. If you watch... Uh, DM and DF readings only, or if you are really into those types of videos where it covers the entire collective's feelings, they definitely are a person who wants to exercise getting closer to you. And this could be in many ways. A lot of it is going to be through that eight of wands that you saw, okay? A lot of it is going to be through connection. The King of Cups clarification in three cards. Six of Pentacles, they could be a Taurus or a Scorpio. I have Taurus, Scorpio here. Doesn't have to be directly in your story. It's just about an ending and being able to give through that. A particular message for maybe 20 of you is this person might offer friendship or just to stay in your life somehow, maintain connection. 
What's the Six of Pentacles? The Six of Wands. This person is still very much attracted to you. They see you in your recognition season. Somebody sees that you've worked hard. You could have Capricorn in your chart as a hard worker. They're known as workaholics. <laughs> um, Capricorn is in my rising. So I tend to not know when to stop. That's actually a weakness of mine. But the Six of Wands is about um, recognition for you. Okay, so it's a time of winning. There's a win-win for the Libra Collective. If you're not a Libra and you're still drawn here every day, there is successes that want to come in for you as well. And this could be tied to family. Six of Pentacles is a big family card for me. And it's also about giving back in a season of reciprocity. So it's a two-way street and it's returning to you also under the guise that somebody has feelings for you or they'd like to be there for you. We have Leo here on the desk. Uh, what is this Six of Wands? What's the success? Four of Cups and the Strength card. Really putting pedal to the metal and working on something hard. Not dropping the desire for it also. If you still want to strive for something here technically in your life, you're given the room with strength. And this is a lion, so you're lion-hearted. You could have been told that throughout your life. I feel like you were the underdog at one point. You were the underdog, but people underestimated you and you actually have the will of a lion, which is completely still coming in here and being the kingdom's you know, top tier. I think they said in the Lion King, top of the food chain. <laughs> so um, there's something about you surviving, okay, after missed opportunities. And I feel here after you release this past, maybe it's connected to a heartbreak or maybe it's connected to someone who's no longer in your life. There's also a time here after the Four of Cups where there's a lot of rejuvenation and perspective shifts. So there is a season of winning after many times of feeling missed opportunity after missed opportunity. Four of Cups to the Six of Wands. This is in the future spot. Okay, so we do have the Six of Wands coming your way. Can I get uh, three cards on where that actually comes from? Thank you. There's two there. Three. We have the Knight of Cups, Three of Wands, and the tower okay so it's surprising and i'll tell you why in this particular video for you it turns out to be very surprising it's an aha moment and i see this tower as not an eventual new tower but it's something that you're already processing through this new moon in gemini it's choices and decisions that change the game forever it's a forever perspective so and i'm going to tell you too this could be romantic because one of your clarifiers is the Knight of Cups. Knight of Cups is Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. He's actually the first flip today. He's a water sign by definition, but also coming in as a tower. So I'll show you the sequence that I got it in. I had the Knight of Cups to the tower and then to seeing the choice. Two of Wands is always choices and decisions. It's more palpable. It can be seen, okay? In your life, you're getting something that I call results. And the results are panning out. It's going to take some time. Usually, there's residual energy after a new moon. It's usually six to ten days to let the energy set in. But I feel like this is a very technical read. The Knight of Cups is someone around you who's longing for the same things. And if you haven't met them yet, it will be in a situation that you're comfortable in. I think a lot of you will be either in a family setting or there's going to be a celebration, which clarifies the first reading's cards in some sense. So let's go ahead and get the cards for a Knight of Cups, okay? We are in Mercury energy too. Remember that we're in communication. We can invite new partnerships if we want to. That's also a part of the new moon in Gemini. What's, can I see the tower to the Knight of Cups? Let's just make it simple. Thank you, right away, wants to talk to you. Someone out in the cold. There's a five of pen, I saw this yesterday, and a tower again. So if you see five of pentacles to the tower, um, I'm getting the word they feel complacent, or you do. Also, this could be a life-changing shift into something that's more reciprocal. This is the card after, but let's look at your flippers. You have the ace of pentacles, the lover's card, I told you it's a union, which clarifies even the first reading. And we ended with the lover's card there. It also wants to be in the ending of this video. And we have the ace of swords. Clarity, finally, with a partnership. This person who's the knight of cups 
is solid. I also feel like they're a king of pentacles in some direction of their life. They could be very stable in parts and they're working maybe on a spiritual revolution within them. Now, the twin flame journey shows up as a surprise. We have a tower here and it's twice, even in clarification. It's an opportunity to start something new. It's an opportunity to revive something maybe of old and you're coupled here. Maybe you wanna start back at a place that feels good. So let's see if this Ace of Swords involves any emotions. What's this Ace of Swords with the Tower card? Ace of Swords with the Tower card in terms of emotions for our collective, it's the Ace of Cups, it's new beginnings. And it wants to arrive and be here for you. I don't know how else to better put it. It wants to show up for you and it also wants you be, to be in the receiving energy of wanting it too, okay? Because it's a blessing with that dove there. Overflowing emotion, a lot of aces. Ace is new beginning. Ace of Cups is also a new beginning. And the Ace of Swords, which is here all in the conclusion. So there's a truth to this. And part of you knows that it's coming too. A part of you knows to be ready for this lover's energy, making a choice to move forward. And also if it's for some of you to just be a healthier person, it's also a part of the choice because this could be the love that you have for self too uniting yourself from the past, maybe even your higher self and uniting you in a whole new trajectory, which is the Ace of Cups. This trajectory has a lot of positive emotion to it. It's seen here in three aces at the very ending. And it also has a universal tie to your last chapter. There's something here that you've healed and the universe wants to present you with an opportunity. Does it involve having a good attitude? 100%. I do believe it has something to do with a period of the five and the four of pentacles. And that's what we realized during, you know, this time period as well. Queen of pentacles, the hermit, and we also have the five of wands that shot over by the camera. I cannot get it because the steeple will come down. We have the queen of pentacles, and this is what I wanna tell you about this Capricorn energy that keeps coming into your reads, is it's very special for you to take care of yourself. You have an open eye towards the things around you the events, opportunities, incoming relationships to you, and they all see you in this very, very important card. That's why in our weekly, it was a huge sense. Uh, it even came out in an oracle card, if you guys remember. So you're stable. You also have an open heart chakra. This Ace of Cups could be how you feel technically in the world now, okay? Willing to accept a new beginning but it's after a release and it's coming from someone who's been a hermit also. They've been isolating and also preparing from a healing journey themselves. And they've, they've done a lot of work. They've done some work to somewhat get here to find you, okay? That's what I have for you. Bottom of the deck is the star.